Hello, welcome to a, another update. Um, me, my wife, my son, we uh, went to Paris last week. And before I went to Paris, I went thrifting. Um, didn't go thrifting or shopping in Paris, even though there was a record store nearby where I was staying. But I, when I'm on holiday, I never ever feel like you know, record hunting, which is weird. Anyway, um, we went to Disneyland Paris, which was a lot of fun. And we visited iconic places in Paris as well. Uh, we stayed at the aunt of my wife, um, who lives there. So, uh, it was kind of packed, but it was enjoyable. We had fun. Anyway, um, this is stuff that I, uh, gathered before uh, I went on holiday. It features one new new seven inch, one new LP, and a box set that's very very special. Um, and it also features um, well, you could call it a holy grail. Probably. Let's get starting. Let's get started with uh, seven inch records. Uh, first up. It's the new Paradiso Vinyl Club. I, I don't know exactly when this came out. Probably a late, or no, not late, mid-October. Uh, this is Stella with the songs I'm Tired and Smile. Uh, it's on translucent green vinyl. Uh, I don't know what it sounds like. I haven't listened to any of these since I came back. But I know I played it. It's sort of indie pop. Look, uh, I love the, the cover, by the way. So, yeah, new Dutch group, Stella. Um, the lead singer is not called Stella. She's called Tosca from the Vals. But the band's called Stella. Why? I don't know. Uh, the rest is uh, secondhand thrift 7-inch records, including this little EP by Sasha Distel. Uh I think it's called Sasha Show 66. It is from 1966. It is on the, uh, what is it? Pate Marconi label. Uh, it features songs, uh, Monsieur Cannibal, uh, On est si bien ici, Elles sont futées, and Le Jeu Bleu. There they are. Uh, I was hoping a little bit of that yeah yeah sound, but it's not. Michel Cannibal is, is probably the funniest track on here, the most enjoyable track. It is it is good. It is good. It's just not what I was hoping for. It's it's not, you know, yeah yeah. Some Dutch funk. This was a, a really nice find. Rockaway Boulevard. With ripped your picture of the wall, I stand tall. Um, when I saw this, I, I needed to find out what it was. And it turns out it is Dutch. And it is funk. It's funky. Sort of like um, Earth, Wind and Fire type funk. It is on a label called Ice Cream Music. Which I had never ever heard of. Um, these guys, they didn't release an album um as far as i know they've only released like two or three seven inches and that's it and this is one of them um ripped your picture of the wall i stand tall by rockaway boulevard this was a fun find i knew this song uh it's i have it on some italo disco compilation it is italo disco but it's not from Italy, it's from Germany. And the guy behind it later on became one of the more well-known DJs, house producers in Germany. Um, the group is called uh, Off and the song is called Electrica Salsa. Uh, ba 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 ba. And this guy on the cover is Sven Veit who is a German DJ, producer, what have you not. This is on the Zix label. 
which was a label that did a lot of Italo disco stuff. And we're talking 1986. And it's a really good track. It has that housey kind of pumping sound and a very uh, Italo disco vibe, but it's not, it's German. But it's a, it's a cool find nonetheless. This one, I don't remember what it sounds like. Probably a little reggae-ish. Um, uh, this is uh, Planets with Lines. And the B-side is further down. Um, look, I, I really enjoyed the cover, what it looked like. So I was hoping for a little bit of a disco thing. It's not, it's more reggae. And it's on the Rialto label. Um, still a really nice find. This is from 1979. So I could have been right with the disco thing, but it's like a reggae pop thing. Anyway, um, this is a Dutch act called Nicky. Uh, he's so different. That's what it's called. The B-side is called Get Dancing. It is on the Injection Disco Dance label, which I collect. That was what the label looks like. Um, this is from 19... 85 is sort of a disco boogie high energy type of song but dutch enjoyed it yeah i had to pick this up vanilla ice this is uh play that funky music uh which he rips off wild cherry is it play that funky music white boy uh yeah he he was at the, when this was released i hated this this was terrible i now look back at it and go like yeah it's funny it's funny it is on uh, emi uh 1990 i think yeah 1990 um vanilla eyes this is uh not as good as other stuff by this guy, but I enjoyed this. This is Sylvester with Band of Gold. Again, on the Injection Disco Dance label. The B-side is an instrumental version of Band of Gold. Um, Sylvester, you know, New York-based um, disco diva, I, I could call it. For... Uh, Oh, I need to say what year this is from. This is 1983. This is not produced by... Uh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Anyway, he had a producer that did a lot of really cool Sylvester stuff. He didn't produce this. This is okay. This is Sky with Call Me. And when you touch me on the B side, this is a German release, I believe. Yes, it is. It's on the Cell Soul label. There you are, Cell Soul. This is good stuff. I love Sky. Sky is amazing. Um, funky disco stuff. Um, 1981. So that's Sky. I got two more seven inches. Uh, this is Miss Janet. Uh, Miss You Much, which is a Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis track. B-side is called You Need Me. Uh, this is from 89. An A&M. Um, yeah. Janet. I have Janet. And the last one is the SOS band with I'm Still Missing Your Love. This is on the Taboo label. This is from 1989. So this is a later period uh, SOS band. Not really that good stuff from the early 80s, but, you know, it's it's okay. I like I like the SOS band, so... On to uh, the two, two thrift find 
12 inch records one is a 12 inch single and one is an lp which is the holy grail by the way um this is again on the injection disco dance label a 12 inch um of debbie sharp with zep by love and there's also a track called love games on here um i don't know i don't remember this very well i don't know if i even listened to it yet but it's in the original company sleeve chewed up company sleeve but still company sleeve um so i still need to re-listen to this or listen to this i don't know and um see what i think of it debbie sharp zapped by love i got um the grail now needs to be glued here glued um you might gonna you might laugh am i gonna say like are you serious yes i am i am dead serious this is an amazing record it is psychedelic psychedelic it's funky it is it's like santana did lounge music this is james last's voodoo party i've been looking for this record for over 10 years never ever have i come across it you see every other thrift store um, every other record of james last in thrift stores here in the netherlands never this one until i found this um it is the i believe the german pressing there he is mr last this is one of two records i have that i really really love by him I've heard other stuff that isn't that good. It's like cheesy, not good stuff. But this is, is worth picking up. If you ever, ever come across this, do pick it up. Don't hesitate. The album, just look at that cover. It's hippie, trippy stuff. Um, he does a couple of covers, like Sing a Simple Song, uh, Mammy Blue, uh, Everyday People, Inner City Blues. But he has some originals as well, and they're really good. So, uh, James freaking last with Voodoo Party. Now on to the uh, last album that I'm going to show you. And then I have a box set, which is special. But this is a new album um, by Happy Camper. It's called The Both of Us. Happy Camper is uh, Joop Roggeveen. Um, he's a composer, musician, uh, filmmaker. He does animated shorts and uh, all around awesomeness, I guess. Uh, this is really, really good stuff. It's on Excelsior Records, not colored vinyl, I don't mind. Came out a couple of weeks ago and it is amazing. Uh, beautiful harmonies, um, just beautiful melodies as well. It's mostly piano based, but other instruments as well. But the focus is piano and then around the piano songs get made. Um, I love the artwork. This is the type of animated stuff that he does as well. The little, little Yeti, I guess. So the both of us, this is a new album by um happy camper under the name happy camper i think this is their fourth or his fourth album and he did one solo album under the, the name Jop um and that's it um check check this music out check out happy camper really really good stuff telephone is ringing i'm not gonna pick it up my, my wife is downstairs so now on to the box set huge as box set um this was in a display case at uh, at a thrift store near my work and it was the i think it was the only thing i picked up there um and the sasha distel seven inch i guess um this was 30 bucks yeah 
I normally don't pay so much for uh, records or stuff at thrift stores, but this was special. This is the Kraftwerk 3D The Catalog box set. Now, what this is, sadly, it's not the vinyl. That goes for insane amounts of money. This is a Blu-ray box. I'll show it to you. This one goes for a decent amount as well, a lot more than 30 bucks. Even though, I don't know if you can see it, there's some damage on the back. Oh, well. Open it up. So, yeah. You got the cover. I'll put that here. In it is a book. Just kind of dusty. And the book has images. That's just all there is. Images of craft work. Computer images. Um, also from the live shows, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'll, I'll look at the, the Blu-ray set in a minute. Um, it is mostly in museums that they did this performance. Uh, this is the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Let's see, what else have we got? This is uh, the Tate, Tate in London. Then here is Lichtburg in Essen. Then they did a Masonic Temple Theater in Detroit. That's where this was taken. Etc. 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 And it's just, like I said, filled with images, just images. Hope I can show it like this. Theater and museums. Big ass booklet. Okay, like a, a really big ass booklet. I don't know how many pages, but it's that thick. And like I said, it also comes with a Blu ray, which is in here. It's a little foamy thing that keeps the Blu ray set in there. There you are. Um, slips out like that. And it's got four Blu-rays. Two here. Two, two there. And there's a small booklet accompanying the set. Which basically uh, mentions the tracks are of each album. So you got Autobahn, Radioactivity, Trans Europe Express, The Man Machine, Computer World, Techno Pop, uh, The Remix, Tour de France, and that is, I believe, all the albums they did up until this point. So I had to pick this up, and it, since it's music related, I had to show it. The Blu-ray box, huge as box set of Kraftwerk, the catalog, 3D. I don't know if it's 3D, I doubt it, but it is big and uh, well worth the um, 30 euros that I paid for it. So I had to pick this up, I think everybody would have wouldn't they? Unless you don't have a Blu-ray. And in my case, I didn't know what it was. I opened it up, saw a big book. I knew right away, this is not vinyl, but I'll pick it up anyway, because I'm not coming, I'm not finding this for a good price in the future. Anyway, uh, it's a little longer the video than I thought it would be, but that's thanks to the Kraftwerk box set. Leave some comments. Thank you for watching. And, uh, I'll probably be thrifting soon again um, when I start working, but that's not now. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.